What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today I've got kind of a special treat for you. It's a series I've been wanting to start for a long time. And this is going to be called Madden Film Study. This is something that I do a lot of. And this is honestly, if there was everything, anything that I could say is going to help you get better, there's two things. There, there's, there's three core things. The first one is to pl uh, practice more. The second one is to play better competition. And the third one is to study people that are better than you. Okay, and so if you're interested in this, basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of the professional Madden players, some of my top favorite ones that I've ever seen play, some of the best people that have ever played Madden, and we're going to look at what they do in competitive high stakes games when the game is on the line. And today we're going to be taking a look at Skimbo, who's arguably the best Madden player uh, of all time. He's certainly probably the best Madden player in the last three to four years. Um, probably the last five years, but anyway, I just want to jump into this. This is somebody that I've learned a lot from, and for those of you that are new to my channel, what I want to encourage you to do is if this video helps you or you're interested in more stuff that I have for Madden, join our Discord server because our Discord server, link's in the description. If you need any help, let me know in the comments, or you can just shoot me a text. My phone number's in the description, but our Discord server is where we're going to be doing all of our communication communication. It's going to be where you can jump into voice chats. You're going to be able to jump in to um, different chats, not just with me, but other people from our community to help each other get better. But let's jump into the video. All right, so this is the club championship. This is Stevie J versus Skimbo. Stevie J is rocking the Raiders offense and the Packers defense, and then Skimbo is in the gun, um, or the West Coast offense, and I think, I don't know if it's going to show him, uh, it'll come up here. Yep, Skimbo's rocking the West Coast offense and the Jets defensive playbook. So let's jump in here. So first play, deep corner. This is Skimbo's um, top, top play. You see here, he's going for a one-play score. So he's going to take um, he's going to take Hester here, and he's going to run him on little outside release comeback route here. He's going to take his guy Harrison. He's going to run him on a, a runoff, and then he's going to take Tyreek Hill and run him across. This is a simple cover three beater. Uh, Stevie J is showing cover two, but you see here, I think he's a nickel two, four, five. Um, so let's just see what happens here. And this was Skimbo's bread and butter right here, this delay fade to the tight end. Now, he's using Andrew Luck, uh, who has Dashing Dead. I think he has Escape Artist as well. Um, but you can see here, there could be some pressure coming on this side, but let's see what happens. And you see Skimbo's ID in the mic. He's going to block here. This running back is picking up this side pressure. He's probably sliding left on the back side. So you see, this is these are all little bitty steps here. And actually, he takes the uh, he takes the, the the pull route off, and he throws him on a simple zig route. Let's see how the first play goes. So snap the ball. He rolls out and hits that delay fade. Hits that delay fade. All right, let's see what the second play is here. So so far, pretty solid start to the game for Skimbo and his for opening drive. Well, let's see what he's got here. So he's flipping the bunch. So you can tell one of the things that you can tell pretty quickly. Is he is, and I think Stevie J might be in two three six. I think he's dime two three six. Will or, or not Will, but the the four down lineman one. But you see here, these corners are backed off here. So that's a cue that he could probably be in cover four. But let's just see how it goes here. See what the adjustments are. So there's a man line and press. So he's trying to disguise kind of what he's doing now. Skimbo's counter adjusting. This is deep corner. This is Skimbo's favorite play. In my opinion, it's the best play in the gun bunch. But let's take a look here. All right, so let's see what the final setup is here. Okay, so he's got that corner out to Marvin Harrison. He's got that wheel route there, that little replace route. Let's see what happens here. Stevie J wasn't sending a lot of pressure, so Skimbo sent five men out um, a little bit here in this game. He brought, picks up pressure, rolling right, and he's going to hit that patented corner route, escape artist, dashing dead eye corner route to Marvin Harrison for a quick, quick gain. So he's feeling good on offense. And let's see here next. So I see, again, flipping it to the wide side of the field. Now, really quick, this in my head, when I'm doing film study, this is what I'm asking. Why is he flipping it to the wide side of the field? In my opinion, he's flipping it to the wide side of the field because it's going to give this corner route to Marvin Harrison a lot more space. You see how much, how many more, um, how much more room does he have to throw it on that side if he stays over there? Now, if he was to run this route, if he was going to go do something like that, there's not enough physical space. There's not enough physical space. So that's one of the main reasons that he's flipping it. Let's see what he goes to here. Looks like kind of a broken play out of mesh post. I think he was doing a little quick snap trying to catch him in something, but he's able to get out with uh, with Andrew Luck. All right, second and six here. 
This is kind of Skimbo's go-to goal line setup. So he's going to take Hester. He's going to run him on a five and out. Now, the reason he does that is because it's going to pull the flat. So if they're in like a cover two or if they're in like any cover three, any cloud flat zone or whatever, it's going to go over here. And what's going to happen is it's going to create a little window, literally like Lombardi sweep style. There's going to be a seal here. There's going to be a seal here from the drag. And there's going to be an alley that that route can be hit, hit in. He's also going to motion out and snap this post route because when he motions that post route remember we can throw that against like deep high safeties if he's anticipating these safeties are going to drop back into a cover two style defense so let's see what happens here he's got the crossing route there he might uh, block the tight end looks like he's going to go with the hitch setup this is an oldie but goodie setup from bunch this has been this is classic bunch right here and looks like he had the post there he just missed him one of the challenges when you put yourself on tape when you watch tape on yourself is it is so hard to get most most you'll see when we go through this most people misreads most people misread so let's let's look at this here real quick he's got a third and six looking like he's going to go to the same setup skimbo is kind of a robot he's going to do the same thing every single time i mean you can pretty much anticipate so he's going to take the flat to get the flat out of the way and there you see there's it comes back to the running back route basically what he's looking at at the snap of the ball is he's looking at where is where is Stevie J's user? So right here he sees, right? If we just do a little, um, whoops, sorry about that. If we do just a little space bar here, you'll see this this right here. This is what I'm trying to get at. This user is not over here, so he can't take this away. He is too far away from this. So he has to go ahead and commit, and he's going to have to take that away. And you'll see there a nice little low ball into the running back. So here's Skimbo's red zone package, and Skimbo's not a great, I mean, he'd probably be the first to tell you he's not a runner. <laughs> I mean, I, every, every since I've watched him play and learned from him for years, he's never he's never been a great runner, but he's just going to go to these fullback dives. And it looks like Stevie J is going to go 3-4 odd. He's going to pinch everybody, bring everybody down, and he's going to try to basically anticipate. And what I don't understand is why, um, and, and, and again, I think, with Andrew Luck being right-handed, you'd want to run the ball this direction. And here you can see they can kind of crash in. So these are some goal line reps here. And Skimbo's not. And then here you see he tries to go to this little pass. What he's looking for is that post route. Stevie J has good user. And then Andrew Luck's going to scamper and not get in there on that goal line possession. Let's check out and see here what he does on... Um, let's see. You got, uh, I think he was ended up getting stopped there. Let me see. What, he, what did he call? Oh, that was his fourth and goal. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he ran it again. Fourth and goal. Okay. So that was his first drive. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. I really I really want to just focus on uh, his offense for today. So we'll just skip ahead. So this is his second drive here. And you see right there this little tag. So Stevie J is running a simple auto flip, max coverage defense. Uh, and he's going to basically adjust out of it. He's going to use her. So here you see there, there's a little bit of a cross man, cover two man type of deal you've got the the deep corner so he's gonna have that flat there for that cover three situation looking for that pull route to hold so that Tyree Kill can get over the top so here cover two man and you're gonna see right there nothing open CJ ran a lot of cover two uh cover two man at least in the or the two deep safeties and so when you run two deep safeties on that post route if you have good user over the middle, it's a little bit challenging to get that in. So, But you do leave yourself vulnerable. So here goes Skimbo again. He's got that in route, but he just missed him. Just missed him on that. All right, so same thing here. So look, so he's got spread line, spread linebacker. So these guys are going to, and essentially they're either going to, they're going to float into this direction. Both of these guys are going to float into this direction. This guy's going to float back here. This guy's going to float back here. And then basically Stevie J is going to have somebody that's going to use or everything over the middle of the field. So let's see what he does here. But if he can get out, he should have this corner route all day. This is uh, And he starts to realize his blocking, blocking his backs and stuff. And there you see, there it is all day. And that's, that's, that's money. That's money. That's classic Skimbo deep corner this year. That's why it's such a good route, um, especially if you got someone that has decent route running. So Skimbo's kind of tripping because he's in the red zone again, and 
He didn't, he didn't know what to call. <laughs> Red Zone was tough to score this year for sure. So anyway, he's going to far. I think this is I think it's uh, near pro flipped maybe. But just going to try to slam this fullback dive in here. And as you can see, he's he's close. He's close, but no cigar. And I'd like to see I'd like to see him motion that guy. Um, the issue the issue with those fullback dives this year, to my opinion, have been the the wide pursuit. That's why I think Near Jumbo does a really good job because of those tight ends on that outside. It's it's really tricky. And then here you see um, he's going to end up running it again. But let me show you here at the snap of the ball once we get it up here. So right here, so when they're in 3-4, this guy right here is the problem on either side. So because this is a wide receiver, he can fly in this gap right here. No, no one's going to block him. But if, the, if you'll see here, this guy, he can't fly through. So you'll see when he goes audibles around, the guy that's on the tight end, so he's going to flip it. So watch here. Tight end side backer can't fly through, right? And he almost gets it here. So that's just about knowing who can fly through, who can't fly through. Here we go again. Fourth and goal. He's going to go for it. Same thing here. This guy can fly through. This guy can't fly through. He's user in here. I would run the ball right there. But he really wants to stay to the right-handed because of the fact that Andrew Luck is right-handed. So he's motioning this receiver across, trying to pick up. And this is actually a good motion right here because he's trying to seal this edge off so he can bring it back against the grain. We'll see. I think he's going to end up taking a delay and kicking three. So he takes his three, and let's click up here. Let's get to, uh, did he get the ball back already? Yeah, it takes his three. Oh, I think he gets a fumble on the kickoff. Yeah, so this was a little trick, um, and this is just Skimbo being next level, in my opinion. Uh, he's hype in the, in the gameplay. So Skimbo understands that Enforcer at the time was really critical because you could they would run it out and they would think because you're in salary cap, you're not going to have anybody good on the kickoff. Well, Skimbo made some roster adjustments, basically slid Pat Tillman in on the kickoff, was able to get that, uh, and it paid off for him here with the Enforcer. Okay, so now let's take a look here. So again, you got two high safety. He's understanding now. He's, he's starting to see. Now he can't, this four down lineman rush, you know, that there's there's no reason not to send the back out because if you block the back in a four down line rush, my opinion, it doesn't do anything for you. And this is just my opinion, unless you're going to be cut blocking. And so there you see he's starting to hit that that corner route. Now he gets down in the red zone again. Let's see what he goes to. I think he's going to go because of his spacing on the field. And I would honestly, I would like to see him run the mesh post more even inside the five i think he's just more comfortable with it and that's the idea of having you know the whole idea of ten thousand hours being mastery and so here you see there's that five and out he's got the wheel he's got the post now watch dvj's user he's going that way leaves that open and it's a dot very good read now he's kind of tripping because again he's in the red zone you could smart route that post route and run that to the left that's what i run out of the wide trips out of the arizona book but and that's that's like saying is you know you want to be in the offense you're most comfortable in. I just don't think he's very comfortable in the near close. Um, it just doesn't seem like it to me. Now watch here. So it's fullback dive here. Watch this play. Watch the outside linebackers. It's the same setup every time. Lawrence Taylor flies through. Same setup every time. He's crashing. Stevie J is pinching his linebackers, crashing them down. He's probably run committing. You know I don't know if he is or not for sure. Um, but anyway, here we'll see see what Skimbo goes to here. So here's a third and five. See, here he goes back to bunch. Now watch. He's going to the setup that he has ran a million and one times. million and one times. Motion out, watch. He's going there. Post route should be wide open. And it's a dot. Very good read by Skimbo. So you see what you see what I'm saying? When I talk about having a power play and a counter play, and I talk about spending the whole year in one playbook, Skimbo has spent like five years Probably more than that, honestly. He has spent so much time in Gun Bunch that literally he he has he has every right to want to stay in that inside the five. And he's able to dot. And it's it's one of those things. Let's see if we can get this out of the way. But it's it's just one of those things where Let's see here. Um, it's just one of those things that when you've spent so much time in a playbook, you've labbed it so many years. Um, it becomes really, it becomes really wide open for you. All right, let's see what we've got here. So this is a 
I want to. I want to. I don't want to look at Skimbo's defense today. I don't have enough time for that. So let's get uh, let's get back on offense here. So this is. So now he's he's 10-7, third quarter, right? And timing and clock does change a little bit of how you're going to play Madden. But today I just want to focus on the route combinations that he's utilizing. So here, five man route. He's going to pick up the pressure here, and. Kind of like a busted play. He tries to throw a route, and he gets – honestly, it was a bad read. Um, he saw an opening, but he saw it a little bit late. So watch here. See that little glitch there? That happens where his, where his lineman kind of teleported. That happens a little bit with man line. Um, so his lineman teleports all the way across. Now watch. It has nothing – Skimbo – it has nothing to do with what Skimbo did. He was – it was the basics of the of mechanics of the game. So Skimbo tries to roll out because he still he feels the pressure. Steve Day, Stevie J does a good job of containing it with the contain rush, and you see here the running back is wide open. Skimbo is so used to rolling out and hitting that corner out. Stevie J does a good job with that contain. So now Skimbo can't really get out there. His users there, and if had Skimbo stayed in the pocket, he this is an easy hit right here. This is an easy hit. What happens is he's looking here and he knows he misses it. So when he gets to here. The user's there. He sees this, but he's got to throw it across his body. It's a bad angle, and you'll see it almost ends up getting intercepted. See that right there? Just missed it. Just a just a second too late. And that's that's one of the one of the things that I've had to learn this year, and one of the things I think a lot of people have had to learn that use have used escape artists. That sometimes you live and die by it. Okay, so same thing here. He's got the middle guy. The same same blocking scheme. You see, Skimbo's a robot. He is going to do the same thing every single time because he understands it's about executing. Can I execute it? Can I execute my game plan or not? Um, you have seen the same setup out of Deep Corner a million and one times. You'll see it again here. So, tight ends on an in route. Backs on a wheel. Motion that guy in. He's going to block there. Now he's rolling out. He's got that note, but he's going right back there. And he just missed the in route. I think he actually had it, but... Stevie J was coming down on it. And I think if Skimbo would, and I'm not quite sure the reasoning. I I know the zones play worse when you roll out with escape artists. But I'd like to see Skimbo kind of st stand tall in the pocket. And here, just a broken play, you get a nice animation there from Lawrence Taylor. And that's why you get a Lawrence Taylor. And so now, um, I think Skimbo's going to take three. Or no, he's got third down coming up here. Okay, so third down. Again, same setup. Same setup. Here it is. Right? Wheel, in route. That's the setup. Okay? He's motioning this guy in because he wants to get a good block animation here on this guy right here. So simple six-man protection. Now watch. Steve J's blitzing three people. He's got a spy on the field. This running back, if you look, has been open the entire... He's always open. Always open. But that's not the progression that Skimbo wants. Skimbo's looking here first, then he's looking here, then he's looking there, and then late for that. So let's see where he's rolling here. So he's rolling right. Now you see he's got the animation. You see that Stevie J is already, he, he thinks he's got him baited, and he's going to jump back down to this route, the, the little in route. And you'll see here Skimbo dots him up. And I think he just misses him. And uh, he's going to he's gonna have to take his three kind of in no man's land here. So we'll jump ahead here. But even the best players misreads. You know, looking at Skimbo's film, I think one of the things that you'll see is his commitment to executing his system is is really, really high level. And I think that's one of the things that makes him – got to get rid of this ad. That's one of the things that makes him so, so, so good um, at this game. All right, let's jump ahead here. Let's see if we can get up. All right, so Stevie J goes down. I think he's taking his three here. So he's going to tie it up. So fourth fourth quarter, three minutes, 13 seconds. If I'm Skimbo, I'm going down. Like in your head, you're going down. You're kicking a field goal, and the game's over. That's what you're looking for here out of this drive. So let's jump ahead in here get him on offense here. All right, so deep corner, same setup. And that one, actually, I think he changed. I think he changed here. So this this so he has hot route master or slot apprentice or something on this, so he's able to hot route him to the corner. 
this route now he's going wide receiver post so he's going to try to catch stevie J over top because he's been running the in route running the in route running the in route now he's going to try to run the deep over post route so let's see what see how this goes for him he's got that crossing route there see he's got the crosser wide open but there you see oh man what a dot that was a huge hit and that was, again, a product of Stevie J ran a lot of cover two, a lot of cover two man, and was giving that up most of the game. And Skimbo found it at a critical time. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so Skimbo, this is, again, it's like clockwork. Goes to his bread and butter play. You've seen this every single time he gets down here. This is the play he's going to hit. So he's looking this way, this way, this way. Here we go. So he's got that way. He's watching the user. The user's probably going to be right over here. I don't know which one. We'll see. Nope, he stays there. Now he's got trying. He's got uh, uh, back out of the backfield, but Lawrence Taylor just showed up for him. Got a really good block shed. Almost changed the game, honestly. Um, and you see here these guys are like, what the heck? And that's why, in my opinion, it is the most important attribute on your defense to have a power move specialist because they just do things like that. So going back to a standard setup here, he's got deep corner, right? In route there, post. He's probably going to motion Hester in and block him. But let's see what happens here. There's the motion in. Okay, he's a robot. Look in there. Nope. Comes out. Nope. He's got this route right here. But he's going to go ahead and play it conservative because, again, he doesn't want to throw a pick. And these, in, in, in certain situations, you'll be a little bit more aggressive because if he if he wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, he could recover. But in fourth quarter, you're on a guac drive. You're in field goal range. you got to play it safe. Here we go. Third and 14. This is a big, big, big down. Okay? Because Stevie J still has all of his timeouts. So same, probably same thing. Deep corner. Going here, here, here. Stevie J is probably going to continue to sit in that same defense. But let's see what happens here. Uh oh, a little bit of a change here. He's going to drag this guy. And let's see, he's double teaming. Let's see what he does here. Yep, he's going to drag him instead of is the drag instead of the in route here. Trying to pull these zones down a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so at this point, Skimbo has probably looked to the crosser. He sees it's not there. He's looking here. He sees that Stevie J's user's on there. He sees he can roll out. So now he's going to start the rollout process. Now, knowing this right here, you see this zone right here. Had this guy right here been on a post route, it's a touchdown, more than likely. Had he called wide receiver post or something like that here, I think this is a touchdown. But he doesn't. Coming out. And now you see looking here, again, Stevie J's user is so committed to this. That's why I'm saying deep attack or something. Just a simple post right in there would have popped. Anyway, Skimbo's got his system rolling out, and now he's going to throw a dime to this deep end route. And he had been setting this up, setting this up, setting this up. Stevie J won't leave this corner route because he he's it's a critical situation. So Stevie J doesn't leave his corner route. I don't know why because he could have left it and come back here. Anyway, Skimbo delivers a key, key dot, and that is a huge, huge first down. That is a huge first down in a huge game. And why Skimbo was able to do that, I believe, because... Not only was it open, but he has ran that play so many times. So many times. Now he's down here in the red zone. He's got first and goal. Stevie J, he could take all of Stevie J's timeouts. So, again, there's not a whole lot of stress right now if I'm in Skimbo's shoes. And he's able to get in for a touchdown, and he is pumped. But now uh, he's got to D up a little bit. And you'll see Stevie J will pop off. And the game's not, you know, the game is long from over. As you can see, Stevie J is able to pop off a... Uh, pop off a big run with uh with eric dickerson so anyway skimbo's got a got first and 10 here let me see if i can get back out i think i missed a couple plays here so now it's fourth quarter tied up game you've got your opponent has two timeouts you have two timeouts you have 55 seconds and you've got to get the ball to about right in here you've got to get the ball to about the mid mid uh 35 40 yard line so deep corner same setup and he's, fit, he's in a rhythm now. There he goes. There's the in route. Now this is where Skimbo's starting to get it. Skimbo's starting to click here on all cylinders because that in route had been there for most of the game. Had, had been there for most of the game. But I think that he was so focused on this corner route. But anyway, we'll see. And he's not even – I don't even think he's flipping the bunch anymore to the wide side. You see, the game has completely changed. And Skimbo is, like, starting to hone in on what Stevie J is doing. So rolling right. 
corner route there. He's either going to go to the corner route. There it is. Boom. And now he's cooking. He is cooking with gas right now because Stevie J has no answer for this play. And Skimbo is executing this play as well as it possibly can be executed in this moment. Here he does flip it to the wide side. He does flip the bunch to the wide side. So here we go. Same setup. Motion this guy in. Probably going to put... Oh, he changes here. He changes. Let's see what happens here. So now he's going to leave that post out. I think he might have just played a little game there. Seeing what happened. Motion in. There it is. Roll out. Uh-oh. Nothing there. And there is a key find to the running back. That route's been open for most of the game. Skimbo just hasn't hit it. And that's a huge, huge conversion. And now this is where... This is where champions are won. Can you close the game? And Skimbo, in my opinion, is one of the best closers of all time. Um, can you close the game out? 38-yard line. He should be in field goal range. Stevie J is going down to his 3-4 odd. You've got, I think Skimbo ran. Um, yep, just ran a fullback dive. Now he's on the 40. He runs fullback dive one more time. Ends up taking his 3 here, 40-yard line. And you'll see right here, he misses it. He misses it. So that's a huge miss, and now he has to lock up in overtime. He's able to get the ball. He would win the toss. So coming out now, Skimbo, you, all this through, the whole game through, if you watch this whole game, Skimbo's been in complete control for most of the game. He made a couple mental mistakes that have allowed Stevie J to hang around, right? And that's kind of how Madden goes, right? But Stevie J, there's two men under. Again, same type of principle you're going to see. Look right here. So Stevie J is running two man under with two curl flats. So now you've got wide receiver post, right? Same thing. So let's see what happens here. This is wide receiver post. Now watch. Skimbo stays in the pocket for, I think, the, for the most part here. And then he's going to roll left. Stevie J runs a little weird pressure here. But you got Harrison coming this way. you got the crosser coming this way. So let's see. See what happens here. So there you see. Had he rolled right, he probably could have hit that. I think Stevie J is in some kind of cover four. But Skimbo is going to be wise and just take his out, take his out with Andrew Luck. Yeah, big time two three six is what I thought. All right, let's jump in to our next play here. All right, so he's got first and ten, same thing, wide receiver post. I'd like to see him run deep corner. I think he's, I think he's trying to. I think he's trying to hit this bomb with wide receiver post. He's he's already noticed these guys are f bailing out, so he's trying to hit something here over the top. Let's see here. Wide receiver cross. Here again, he leaves the safety, so there's no safety over top here of Hester. So snap the ball. You see he rolls out, and that might not have been the greatest decision. He's going to get, but he is going to beat him to the sideline, and he's able to throw it, And but he almost, hits a, almost throws a uh, click on pick there. Whoops, 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 whoops. Got two ahead. So now, second and ten, he's like, okay, this isn't working. I'm going to go back to my bread and butter, the deep corner. And you'll see here he's going to come back to the setup that he's been running all game. Motion in. There it is. There's that. And he's going to give, end up throwing that one away. He probably should have stayed in the pocket there. Having that, having that awareness to come in and out of the pocket. All right, here we go. Third and ten, overtime. Tournament, tournament life on the line here. There's that setup again. Motion in, right? He's a robot. Rolls out. Stevie J is starting to do a little bit of a delay blitz tactic to kind of contain the rollout. And you see Aaron, Aaron or Andrew Luck did not look very good on that one, on that series of plays. All right, so Stevie J is going to get the ball back. Skimbo is going to lock him down. I'll tell you what, the mental toughness to be able to play key, key defense when things honestly haven't gone your way the whole term or the whole game shows the championship ability of him and why he's one of the best, or in my opinion, the best Madden player in the modern era. So here you go. Same setup. This is a deep corner. There's that delay blitz. See? See how it's keeping Andrew Luck in the pocket? That's a great adjustment by Stevie J. So what Stevie J has figured out is if Skimbo can roll out like, it's everything is open. If he can keep Skimbo in the pocket, and so you're going to see here these slots, that's what they're designed to do. So he's literally backing these guys up so that they see this defensive lineman, 
he backed him out of it. So now Skimbo's having to improvise, right? The adjustment, the counter adjustment is like, now what do you call? And here we go. So this is a four verticals play. See, there's that delayed blitz. Now you can't roll out. And now Skimbo is, you see how, see how that's changed his whole offense? That one adjustment has changed everything because Skimbo's not as comfortable not being able to roll out of the pocket. So now third and ten, Skimbo's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty upset. Doesn't know exactly what to call here. See that right there? He's taking this guy and moving him out, and then he's on the bunch side, whichever, because he's going to motion this guy in. This guy is going to block this. This if this if this guy was over here, he would motion him in. He'd block this guy. Skimbo could then roll out by bringing this guy back up. Like that, this guy doesn't get as good of a blocking angle on this guy, so then Andrew Luck can't get out of the pocket, forcing him to have to stand tall in the pocket, which Skimbo has not been doing. So here we go, third and ten. And if I'm Skimbo, I want to run the same thing. He's going to go, I, I want him to run deep corner, third and ten for the money. Here we go. So he ends up, there's your in route. Probably going to get your wheel route to Logan. Oh, looks like he's going to streak him. Nope, there's the wheel. Okay. Now watch, 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 watch. Watch this guy right here. The snap of the ball. Now watch the defensive lines. This is so, so important. Watch their, watch their animations. This guy right here is coming wide. You see here, Lawrence Taylor, right? Devin Hester helps out on Lawrence Taylor. This guy comes wide, out. So now the pressure's coming. Now Skimbo, there's a QB spy. Skimbo's going to have to roll this way. And the reason this is significant is Skimbo's having to roll this way, but the corner route's going that way. So Skimbo rolls this way. He can't make that throw, which means Stevie J just has to use her this route or this route. And what you're going to see is this route right here or this route. Let's see what happens. He stands tall in the pocket and delivers a strike to Marvin Harrison on that corner route. That is a huge adjustment by Skimbo. Very well done. In the midst of a tournament, high stress, high stakes game, you see he makes the adjustment. He stands tall in the pocket, delivers that corner out, gets the first down. All right, let's see here. Big dime, two, three, six. That's what Stevie J is going with. All right, so here, I think, I think this is um, this is an interesting play call. He just goes over top, Devin Hester. And he dots him, and that's ball game. So what you've been seeing, and I, I don't know if you saw this. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you right here. Let me see if I can go back. So what's happening is Stevie J, whichever the side the solo receiver's on, Stevie J's been dropping that guy down here because he's trying to get him to take this route away. So he's trying to take this guy and put him here, so that he can jump over here and then recover. And this guy is going to kind of delay that in route. So let me show you right here how that works. Watch the safeties. Watch the safeties here. So there's the motion in. Snap. See that right there? See this safety? He's coming down into this angle right in here. See that little robber? Little robber over the middle of the field. And there you see it. There's the corner route. So the very next play. And, and actually, Stevie J has been doing this most of the game. But Skimbo starts to see it. And now you've got one-on-one -on -one with your fastest receiver. Skimbo checks his speed. Safety comes down for the money. Skimbo's going to hit a nice rack catch dot, and he's going to be able to take his three and win. One of the recaps I want to do for you as we transition here, Skimbo is excellent because he is able to execute his offense at a high level. Skimbo has a couple of finite, a very few selection of plays. He ran the same red zone play. He ran the same base play up and down the field with a couple of minor adjustments depending on what CBJ 